Black Dragons, I'm back to start another reading vlog. It feels like it's been a bit since I've read YA Contemporary, so I'm going to do that for this reading vlog, and I'm going to do a reading vlog focus on some retellings I picked up recently. So these are the three books I'm going to focus on in this reading vlog. It's probably going to take me about a week, but they are pretty quick reads, and two of them have a murder mystery element to them. So the first book I'm going to focus on is Ghosted by Amanda Queen. This is the first book in her North Hammy, North Hanger Abbey series, and this is Never Have I Ever Meet the X-Files, and I'm excited for this one. So I'm going to give you guys an update when I get up to page like 100 just to see like how much I'm enjoying it. She does have a other series that follows Georgie, Georgia Darcy, which I think is a Pride and Prejudice retelling, but I'm picking this one up for the moment. The next book I'm going to read is a Shakespeare retelling of Midsummer Night's Dream, I think. Yeah, oh, it's a contemporary retelling of Sense and Sensibility. Oh, okay, then I am right. Then this is Jane Austen. So yeah, it's a contemporary retelling of Sense and Sensibility. So this is Jane Austen, which I'm excited for. And this one sounds like it's contemporary, so I'm excited for this. And then Manslaughter Park is a retelling, a murder mystery of Mansfield Park. So I was right. They're all like murder they're all inspired by Jane Austen and they're all very very different so we have a contemporary mystery a contemporary romance and then a historical mystery so I'm excited to get dive in I'm gonna read 100 pages of ghosted and then I'll give you guys an update bye hey friends I'm back it is Sunday I did wind up getting some reading done which is good I wound up taking the puppet for a walk and I wound up reading a bit of Ghosted by Amanda Quain. So I'm about 100 pages into this book. I'm really liking it. Like it's super working for me. Maybe it's because I've been watching like Nancy Drew, but I'm just in the mood for ghosting stories. So I also just finished a ghosting tale, but this is very, very fun. It follows a character named Hattie and she is a, isn't a believer. She doesn't believe in the occult. She doesn't believe in the supernatural. But that's, I knew that was going to happen. I knew whenever I talk, she has to know who I'm talking to. You want to say hi? Oh, oh, puppy girl. You want to say hi to the camera? No. Okay. Hi. She always has to say, she always has to see who I'm talking to. Always. No, you don't want me. You want to say it? I'll buy it. Um, but, so I'm going to start that video over again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm back. So I did want to give you guys a quick update. I did wind up reading to page 200 in Ghosted by Amanda Quain. It is Monday. I am liking this book a lot. It's very, very fun. It's very, very quick. I think the balance of high school drama but also like ghosty elements is really working for me. I think this made me be a great early fall read. The one thing I think that would have enhanced this book a tad for me is that if we would have got also got Kids Point of View. But it's very much a Hattie story because Hattie is dealing with a lot. There's a lot of grief elements. There's also a lot of elements because she is in her last year of high school. So there's lots of about college and choosing your own path and stuff like that. There's also a lot of friendship dynamics in here as well. I've never read Northanger Abbey. So I don't know like the correlation as like a retelling. Um, but I'm enjoying it. It's very, very fun. I love the atmosphere of the story. I really, really like the characters. I love the dynamic. I love the ghost hunting elements. So this is working for me. I'm going to give you guys an update when I get up to page like 300. So this will be a bit. Right now it is like 1235. I just went and got my tooth checked. I have to get a crown put on later in August, which I'm not that happy about because I don't like dental issues. I'm like a, a baby when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, my goal is to get to at least page 300 today so I can wrap this book up and move on because we're getting to the end of the month and August is going to be crazy with all the three readathons I'm a part of. So I want to make sure I give read as much as I can in July because July is my one month where I really have no things to do like outside of like fun stuff. So I mean, I have a lot of fun stuff in August too, but it's more traveling and, you know, not being in the house, not being focused on reading which is funny because 10 of those days I'm going to be in Italy. Um, so yeah, that is where my life is right now. Um, I'm listening to a book for a different vlog, so there's nothing in here, but I think I'm going to pick up Debating Darcy next when I'm done with that because that will be for another readathon I'm doing. Oh my God, so many readathons. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts. When I get up to page 300, I will give you guys an update, but so far I'm really liking it. I wish we got Kit's point of view, but I sort of understand why we don't because I think it's very much Hattie's story. I also love her small brother Lucas and I don't know if this is going to be a series where we follow this couple or we follow different people in the world but I would be very interest, interested to read a retelling of Rothhanger Abbey to see like what is the connection moments because I don't really know that but other than that I'm, it, it, it's a solid read it's really really solid and I'll talk to you guys soon bye so to give you a quick, a quick update, I did wind up getting up to page 204 in Ghosted by Amanda Quinn. I'm really liking this book, like, quite a bit. I think it's just fun. 
I like both characters. The only thing that would make this book a bit better for me is if, um, oh, what's his name? Kit had a point of view, just because I love books where both characters get a solid point of view. But this is very much like a late high school story. There's a lot of stuff, not just about grief and like she's kind of dealing with the death of her dad. She also lives on a ghost on a campus, but ghost hunting was very much a thing that her and her dad to get, did, did together. So it's kind of hard for her to feel connected to all that dragon same back so i was gonna finish this last night and then i fell down a deep hole of forge <laughs> figure skating for some reason i was i realized that the um the the american team has still never got their medals and i wanted more information so i kind of did a deep dive and i watched a bunch of videos about that but that's for another moment but i did wind up getting up to page 311 in Ghosted by Amanda Queen. I'm really enjoying this book. It's probably going to be like a 4.5 star per review. I'm really liking it. It definitely is more of a contemporary book with ghost elements and I think the ghost hunting is definitely set, second spittle. There is no real mystery element to this story which is what I was sort of hoping for but it's definitely a contemporary book. I also don't have the context for Northanger Abbey so it could be a very solid adaptation and I'm just not miss, not getting those elements because I've never read that but I do want to read her accomplished series with Darcy with Georgie Darcy because that is a that is a story that I think I know but I am really enjoying this I want to read the last like how many pages is it like 60 pages and then wrap this book up and then go read my next one because we are getting to the end of the month and August is going to be crazy and nuts for a lot of reasons so yeah that is where we are I will give you guys an update when I'm done with this um, I also might pick up a new audiobook today that might be connected to this vlog. We will see. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm done with this and when I've chosen my next audiobook. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Hi, dragons. I'm back. It's actually much later, but today was sort of a busy day. Not like a massively busy day, but I did wind up getting some stuff done. It was also nice, so I took the pup up for a walk. I went to town. I went to yoga. Now it's raining, so if you hear the thunder in the background, I apologize. But it did take me all day to read 50 pages because I was doing other things. But I did wind up finishing up Ghosted by Amanda Queen. I really like this book. I think I'm probably going to give it like four stars for review. It was a solid read. I think this would be a great like early fall read. It does take place over the whole year. And I think the spooky vibes are definitely less than I was expecting. But it is the series and this book only followed Hattie's point of view so I think it was definitely like a solid romance there really was no trope in here that I could see it was definitely like maybe like friends to more but friends to more with like a little bit of tension because they are they were very like opposites of tract it does deal with a lot of grief elements too the only thing I think way to highlight it was maybe there was a bit of a mystery element kind of tossed into it the ghost hunting was like very very small in this whole story but I think their differences were really, really fun. I just think the wish I wish the ghost hunting had happened a bit more. It was a little bit, but not enough to kind of call it like off, you know, like a mystery or a thriller or whatever. But I liked it. I thought it was solid. I think there, there was a lot of elements towards the 10 that really rang to me as super contemporary. Like there was a lot of like friendship issues and then romance, and then there was also like parent parental dynamics. Also, Hattie is dealing with a lot of grief for her father's death. So that is something I would be notable going in, but I really, really liked it. I have never read Northanger Abbey, so I don't have a context for what like the, it was like basically adapted from, but I enjoyed it and I gave it like four stars. So the next book I'm going to pick up is going to be Rosewood, A Midsummer Meet Cute, and I know nothing about this. I know this author wrote Debating Darcy, which I do want to read. I actually have the audio. I don't know if I'm going to get to it this week because I'm also listening to another book for a different thing, but this is a... Sense and Sensibility Retelling, which I actually have another Sense and Sensibility Retelling I'm going to read in August on my TBR, but this is, I don't know if this is modern day? I have no idea, but I know that it's super short, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to read like the first 100 pages and then give you guys my thoughts, but I'm really excited to dive into it. I know I saw her talking about it on threads, and I just wanted to pick it up, and it is signed. It's signed to me from... Books of Wonder where she did an event and the hardback has roses on it. So once I read about 100 pages, I will give you guys a solid update. But yeah, that is my thoughts. Um, and again, the, 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 there will be one more book in this vlog as well. But this is not a mystery. I thought this was going to have mystery elements. It didn't. But this, I don't, I, I don't know if it is. I, I have no idea what this book's about. All I know is that I saw 
a midsummer meet cute and I was like I have to get it so I'm gonna go read another 100 pages and when I have some thoughts I will give them to you bye hey book dragons I'm back um I think I am gonna DNF Rosewood by Sananji Disgupta. I am just not feeling it unfortunately I think this story has a lot of elements into it like I read like 100 pages of it and I didn't really like the characters. I think this book is very reminiscent of Bridgerton season two and that as much as I love like the re the re like the story that type of story is always like my least favorite. Like I don't like hate to more especially when they're strangers going into the story. It's just not working for me. I might one day try to pick up the audio for it but I don't want to waste a credit on it right now. Um, and I did get it signed because it was signed. I think she did an event at Books of Wonder, so I do have it signed. But honestly, I'm just not in the mood for it right now, so I'm gonna DNF it. I rarely ever DNF books, but like, hate to more is one of those tropes that has to be done in a way that I like. And this hate to more story is just not being done in the way that I like. And it's also very reminiscent of Bridgerton season two, which the idea of Bridgerton season two is just not working for me. But I love the diversity. I think that it would make like a solid read if you like Kate Tamor, but it's just not a trope that I like really, really like. Um, so now I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should read my other one. I don't know if I should look on my shelves and see if we can find another retelling. This was also a retelling of Midsummer Needs Dream meets Sense and Sensibility, which I thought was interesting. Um, but yeah, I just didn't feel that connected to the characters. And like, there was like an older sister and a younger sister. They went to this like reenactment camp that like had like a theater element to it. It was a very like complicated premise and for only like, I think it was like a little bit over, you know, like 306 pages. I just think it was a lot and I just don't think, I think that we maybe should have chose one element. So I'm gonna DNF this and I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I don't know if I'm gonna go into my, into my Mansfield Park story, but I just, the characters were, were not doing it for me. I didn't feel that connected to the characters. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna go try to find something to read and if I can't find anything new, I really like to, I wanted to do three books for this to read three YA Jane Austen retellings, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna read next and then I'll give you guys an update, bye. Yeah, I am gonna pick up, I think, Manslaughter Park by Trisha Pertz. This is a retelling. It's also the third in a companion series. This is, I guess, a Mansfield Park retelling, but with murder. So I'm excited, I'm gonna dive into it. I'm gonna read about 100 pages and see how I feel about it. I just really want characters that I connect to and that's really what it is. And I think because that book was very much inspired by Bridgerton and The Viscount That Loved Me. That's like my least favorite book in that whole series. I just don't think it worked for me. Um, but it is a queer retelling, which I'm excited for. Ooh, and Lizzie Bennet and Fitzwilliams Darcy are in this one, which is very exciting. And yeah, I like the first two books in the series. I'm excited to dive into this one. Um, yeah, so that will be not, I'm caught up on a series, which is really, really good because I am so bad at that. This is The Pretty Spine. I just got this in the mail. And I'm going to read the first four, four chapters, or the first, like, I don't know what chapter does this go up to. I'm going to read the first seven chapters, and then I'll give you guys an update. Bye. Hey, Fit Dragons, I'm back. I did end up doing a bit of book shopping today because I went shopping. I went to go see the Barbie movie, which is really, really fun. Um, I have never go to the movies by myself, so it was nice to just go and kind of adventure. It was really, really hot. I probably would have stayed a bit longer, but it was just very, very hot in the city. But in my travels, I did wind up listening to a little bit more of my audiobook, which is not for this vlog, but I did wind up getting up to page 300 in Manslaughter Park by Chisera Price. I'm really liking this book. I think it's a fun read. Again, I don't really have the concept for Man Mansfield Park. I might go back and reread it at some point or read it at some point. But the story is very, very fun. But basically, you follow Fanny and her uncle is killed, and she's kind of convinced that things aren't go aren't like how that they were. Because he basically fell and she's not convinced that there is like nothing wrong. She thinks that there's some things happening there. Um and she's kind of teaming up with her best friend 
and then the characters from the first book which were Darcy and Bet Lizzie um, and they're gonna kind of solve them the murder of this man and I'm really like enjoying it it's a very very quick read very very digestible the characters are super engaging there is a lot of names and a lot of very very similar names at that so sometimes I get confused like who's who and how they're connected a family tree would have been helpful but again that's probably more of a me problem because I don't know the characters in Mans Mansfield Park so it might just be like me having the issue um but i'm really enjoying it i'm also watching some conjoined twin documentaries which i go through rabbit holes where i watch like random things um so my goal is when i get to when i read about 50 more pages i'm about at page general i'll give you guys a solid update um it is thursday and then saturday starts aurelium which means i can start reading the books for that and then monday starts um amazing read time which I'm really excited for so I'm trying to pick like the books to read this weekend and if I'm going to start a new vlog if I'm going to do a 24 hour reading vlog I really don't know but I just want to read I'm in the mood to read um it's so hot too so I don't know if I'm gonna actually go for that walk later but I do have my audiobook that I'm in the middle of listening to um and yeah so I'm really liking this it's very very fun and I'm going to go read a bit more watch this conjoined twin documentary just because I think it's interesting um and then I will give you guys an update when I read about 30 more pages. Um, but I like the connections. We This book is definitely the strongest connection to the other books in the series. Um, and I think we are actually getting more books following Lizzie and Darcy in the future, which I'm really excited for. But I really, really like this. This, this. this works for me. So I'm gonna go read a bit more. And when I have an update, I'll give it to you. Bye. Friends, I'm back. It's about seven o'clock. I did wind up reading um, to page 100 in a Manslaughter Park. I'm really liking this book. This book is working for me a lot more. I like the characters and even though the characters are new, I still feel really connected to them. And I think it's just because the Jane Austen world is so rich and I have not read Mansfield Park, but I just like the characters. We also see characters from the other books. So you've seen Darcy and Ben um, Elizabeth from the first book and then you've heard about the characters in the second book. But basically you follow Fanny and I assume she's a main character in Mansfield Park. I would not know because I haven't read that one. Um, but her uncle dies. And she's kind of a ward. She kind of stays with this family. And she, her uncle dies. And she sort of thinks something is off. So she kind of enlists Elizabeth and Darcy because they're like the solicitors to kind of figure out well, why her uncle died. And then after her uncle dies, it's kind of revealed that they're short on money. Um, and kind of Elizabeth and Darcy are telling Fanny that she has to kind of solve it. So she kind of enlisted her best friend's help, who was kind of a ward with them, and his name is Edmund. And they're going to kind of figure out what led to her uncle's death. Because when she was kind of investigating after his fall, which he fell like off the banister, they saw something that was a bit suspicious. I'm liking this book quite a bit. It's just, it's working for me. It's a really, really quick read. I remember I read Sense and Second Degree Murder in like a day. So I wouldn't be surprised if I did that today too, because I really am liking this book quite a bit um and I'm liking the characters a lot better than Rosewood which I'm pretty happy about um but yeah that is where I am I'm also on spots with Leandra from the TBR zone which is really exciting I love reading sprints whenever I have an opportunity to do them I do um so my goal is to read another 100 pages tonight that's a goal I also picked a new tv shower I'm watching Superman and Lois on HBO Max because I'm so far behind on like all of these seasons after this one is the big one I have to catch up on the flash which I'm like three years behind on so I have to do that too but I want to fin finishing Nancy Drew I caught up to Nancy Drew I still have to watch a couple episodes but they're not actually out yet um and yeah so I have a week to do that because I want to be caught up on my tv shows before I leave to go to Italy um I also in this time I wound up filming two videos and then I have to film one more um, but I'm starting to prep my TBR for August, which means I have to read all blue books. So I'm trying to read books that are not like blue in the next couple of days. Um, because that means starting on Monday, I have to read all blue books. I'm trying to like let myself have a little bit of allowances if I need them. Um, like there's a TBR that I'm planning, but like there's two blue books on it. So I might like wait. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go read another like 100 pages of this and I'll give you guys an update. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Like, it's very, very digestible. It's a very, very quick read. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey, Flick Dragons. I'm back. So I just want to do a quick update. I did wind up finishing Manslaughter Plark by Tersha Pierce Price. And I really like this book. I would say it's probably going to be like 
three and a half stars on my review scale. I do, I did really, really like it. I thought the first half was really, really fun and engaging. It's definitely, probably more like a four star. I'm probably going to give it a four star. Just because I think this book is like super underrated. I don't think it gets nearly enough love and attention. But it was like a fun read to me. One that was like super quick, super fast. Um, I have never read Manslaughter Park, so I don't know how solid of an adaptation is. It's definitely sapphic, which I liked. Definitely like a slow burn sapphic. You don't really get paid off to share the sapphic storyline until the very, very end. But I enjoyed it. So this book I gave like three and a half, four stars to. My favorite was definitely Ghosted that I gave a solid four stars to. I really, really liked it. Maybe, maybe, maybe more like four and a half stars. Definitely more of a contemporary setting. This was more of a historical setting. No real witchcraft involved, which is what I normally see in my retellings. And then I wound up DNFing Rosewood, which I might come back to one day as like an audiobook. But it just read too much like... Um, the Viscount That Loved Me story and that's like my least favorite Bridgerton book and they kept talking about it too so it was just really taking me out of the story um but I do want to maybe try debating Darcy I have in the audio for that so I might pick that one up at some point but yeah that is where that is where my reviews are I'm gonna go start my Aurelium reading vlog before I head off on my big trip so I will talk to you guys soon for that let me know in the comments if you have any Jane Austen x YA books or just books in general that you think I should be reading. I love to know. Talk to you guys later. Bye.